Yo, what's going down, Commanders? I want to sort of do a different... It's not a different video. It's going to be a long-ass video. And I want to take a deep dive off of, of, of one of the new heroes... Not the new heroes, but the renowned heroes we got in Jenny. I haven't done a video on her yet. Basically, I want to test out the stimulus pack on her. That's the uh, rally tech for the corpus. And I want to see how that works with the unit, if, it, if it's any good with the unit. Uh, I want to see how strong Jenny is. I want to see if Jenny's buffing the Akuma, if Jenny's buffing the um, Kobayashi, etc., etc. Moving on. So, guys, if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up because this would tell me whether I should be doing more videos with probably a little bit longer than normal or I should be doing less. So, that would be key to this video. Other than that, guys, I'm going to. I think I'll push F11. I'm going to take a look at what we've got. So I've attached, I think I've attached the uh, back, uh, stimulus pack to Jenny. Let me just double check. My problem with Jenny is Jenny was a very good hero when the Dark Storm was key in, in the game. What I'm saying is when you had the Dark Storm and everything weren't immune to it in the event bases. Sorry, just a mouthful of coffee. When everything weren't immune to it in the event bases, Jenny would be ideal to be sitting with the Darkstorm. It had the drone that was high priority. And anything that would get through, get close to the Darkstorm, Jenny was there with a good, with that electromagnetic shotgun or whatever the kicks I want to call it. So moving forward, I'm just going to have a little look through this. This gives us a better description than what the uh, patch notes does. So the first one is the Q button. Grants it. Grants the equip unit 500 damage reduction for 10 seconds. The second slot is the W key. Uh, grants equip unit EMP weaponry for 30 seconds. And then the, the third one is for 30 seconds increased damage done and movement speed by 100%. And you've got three of the first one, two of the second one and two of the third one. So I've got Jenny in a in the platoon. I've bought a few. I bought Kobayashi and a couple of Akumas. I'm probably not going to use them to start with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see how Jenny works within the environment. Use that QWE and see what happens there. Then I'm going to move on to the whether it whether she buffs the Akumas, whether she buffs the Outrunners and Kobayashi, etc., etc. I did want to test it first of all in a Medal Three. I'm not going to go PvP just yet, guys, because I'm, I'm, I haven't used this unit yet very much. So I do want to see what happens. I want to see if Jenny, with the the uh, tactics or the abilities, the t uh, rally techs, if she can pick off this base and what sort of damage she gets to start with. So I'm going to hit this base. Make sure Ruby's off. Zoom in. And, and basically, I'm going to use the, the rally tech to see how well she does. So let's run down there. One shot in them. Let's see if she runs shots all of them. Yes. Right. I'm going to just break some walls and maybe take out this front line here. And then I'm going to start using the battle uh, rally, rally tech tactics, I call them. Right, let's go. Big splash. I don't remember having that much splash before, previously. Big, 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 big splash. Right, let's make a hole in the wall. And then if I show you that what what's on, obviously you ain't going to be able to see the unit for a little bit, but... It is what it is here. Yeah, that's quite a big splash there, guys. Right, so I'm going to hit Q and W and then just put her on fist. Nope, she's not on fist. No good. She's not really taking any damage. And uh, she is now because she hasn't got a, a drone above her. I think that's the tech pretty much done. I didn't see the EMP working because she's one shot in everything. Is she going to be any good? This is the point. I can't see a drone. I think it's gone. Right, 
Okay. I'm just waiting for them to all cool down, then I'm going to go with all of them, all three, and I'm going to try to pick out this, this centre, see if she can get through that. So I'm going to just pick off all this while I'm here, wait in. I think the main reason we've got this unit is because of the, the buff to the Akumas and the Kobayashi. So if that doesn't work, then I don't know. Right, I'm ready to go, I believe. It's got a reload of 40 seconds. It's got 30, 37 seconds before it's ready to go. And I'm just going to try to pick off as much as this, see if she can kill it. Because right now, I believe um, Luke can kill this base solo. So if Jenny can't kill this base solo, she's, in my opinion, a lesser, lesser unit than Luke. The only difference is I haven't got Corpus Faction on either. Let's see if I can pick off the just pick off these before that goes. We get her out. I'm getting hit by them rails. Come on. Bit of my fault there. This might cost me a few coins, but never mind. Right, she's ready. So I'm going to go in QWE and start hitting Q. Right, there's the speed on her. She's much faster. She's got good splash. I think that's about run out there. Will she be good enough in PvP is my question. You hit all three of them ta tactics, bum rush her in, maybe with a few devouts around the outside of her. That's what I'm thinking with these units is, it, are they going to be able to to take it be used in PvP? Let's see if I can splash both of them dead. Yeah, she's got good splash. She has got good splash. I'll give her that. I don't think she's going to do this base, though. Come on, target things. Reload time's a bit slow. Can I use any of them? Tactics, no. She has got good splash. I'll give her that. I'm probably going to lose her here. Let's go. She's done it. I think she's done it. So she can do the... the base. The tactics worked out pretty well in killing the... the centre bit there. Will it be any good in PvP? That is the big question. The problem is, is a lot of players have now got units on their spawn, and that's where Jenny's going to shoot straight away and probably lose that. She, her reload is too long, I think. Worth a shot, though. I, I will give it a go. I'm, I'm looking to do a PvP jump because I want to test these units in, in base as well. So not just outside of base. But she's killed that base. I don't need to send her home for that. Because I'm not going to use her in. I'm going to use her with the Akumas and see what happens. Let's get this done. Let's just hit Ruby. One mouthful of coffee. Yeah, I do like the splash on her. I think the splash is pretty good. I don't remember having that big of a splash before. Right, so that's testing the tactics. The tactics, eh, I think they're a little bit short, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess. Let's go test her with an, uh, the Kobayashi, because I've had a PM saying that Kobayashi's outrunners, at least, get a buff. And if I go back, I'll just quickly read what buffs she gives. So if I go to this one, 
Jenny's renowned levels, talents, level six, hero tag lost. Level 10 increases range, movement speed and damage output of Akumas, Kobayashi and the Outrunners. So that's that's the big question. This is going to be a little bit harder to test because we don't know what the increase is. Kicks I don't tell us. But we're going to have a look. So I'm going to put the uh, Kobayashi in on his own to start with. And just see if there's any... Any increase, basically. That's all I want to see. Has Kobayashi been fixed? No. As I say, I, I thought he was hit, didn't hit tar moving targets, but... Right, so they're there. I think these are going to do this base on their own. It's a problem. How much more powerful can Kickstarter make these units realistically? Now, does Jenny buff them with being in the tune, or does she have to be put into the guy into the? Right, so we've seen a couple. They got got quite far. Let's drop Jenny in and see what happens. See, I would like them to show a little icon. If normally, if you look at the buffs, say off the uh, what they call bishops, you get a little icon above them to tell them that they've been buffed, and what the buff is. If you if you go look it up on the wiki, I don't know. I'd say they they seem a bit stronger. You don't know, it's such a slight change. Mm. I may be wrong. I, I, I don't see a big difference. But again, I don't think Kickstarter can make a massive, massive, massive difference to them. Because they're already really powerful as they stand. So how much more can they give them? It might be like 5% increase, maybe 2 range or something stupid like that, as far as we know. But they seem they seem to have got further, seem to do more damage, as I say, before they died. But that, that, again, that could be just pure luck. It's hard to test a unit that, that you don't... This is why I don't like kicks are giving blind buffs. Because they don't, they're not telling the players what, what they're actually doing. All they're doing is... It could be bollocks as far as we're concerned. And that, that's the point. We don't want bollocks. We want actual stats. The game's run on numbers. You know, if we know the numbers, at least we've got a, a fair idea if they are doing better or if they are doing worse. And I guess that's, that's what kicks I don't want. They don't want the complaining. Kobe actually killed that base pretty easy on his own. Uh, I do want to go back to a medals base this time. Right there. And I want to just put the two Akumas I've got with them. Let them run in a little bit. I might, in fact, I might just see, see how long it takes the Akumas, two Akumas to kill this base solo. And then I might have to control them a little bit here because of the low wire but two akumas and let's see what the end end time was because according to kicks they should be faster and more range although i have got the level four reaper tech on the akumas so the, the actual outrunners themselves are really fast like that fast Zoom out so you guys can see a better picture. I'll probably move these forward a bit. Why did he go? This is what I don't like at all. Units doing whatever they fucking want.
So we'll, we'll see if uh, if they can beat this base or the time, whatever time's left once once they've done. That will give us the better idea. Look, I'm caught on them low wires. And again. So we're at 5.31 at the minute. Again, guys, I will re re reiterate, I'm not sure about these videos, so give us a thumbs up if you like it. Leave a little comment below if you enjoy this type of thing where I'm, it's a deep dive into the unit, see what's going on, or units, should I say. This need this test needs to be done because if I don't do this test, I won't get a, a, like a, a comparison sort of thing. think they're going to do the base this this these just make the game so easy right so let's have a look now we're killing the base itself so i've got to remember i moved them out to the right and left, and then moved them forward a little bit for the for the second part of the video. So it's, it is a hundred percent of comparison. I've got an independent paper. I just want to write that time down once they finish. We're almost there. I just wish Kickside would give us some numbers. It's not that it ain't that hard. Right, we're nearly there. Three thirty-five. I'm going to say left. Right now, I'm going to place them two in with with Jenny and see what happens. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Jenny into the, the group to, to begin with. Is Ruby on? Oh, I've got to attack it first. I don't feel I had Ruby on anyway. Right, so Jenny in. Two Akumas, left and right. <coughs> the Akumas, that blue orb is awesome. Right, zoom out, pick off the oh, They do look a little bit faster, to be fair. Are they buffing it? Are they being buffed though? I, I just wish that they would give that icon to say yes. They are getting buffed. Right, I'm going to just move these forward now. Tell you, there is another way to test these as well. I could have... Uh, because she's supposed to uh, buff the Akumas themselves as well. I don't know. I don't know with this. This is it, because we haven't got no numbers to work with. Kickside, I want us to have no numbers by the looks of it. The only thing I can do is is go by the, the time it takes to kill the base. They do seem a bit faster, but it might be me. I might, you know. They should have more range as well, but I can't see that. I don't see them having more range. I do see a bit more speed there, though, but I'm not sure. I really don't know, guys. I'd love to have a few more of you test and 
give us a better idea, you know what I mean? Right, we're now killing the base. 335 is to beat. They just they just seem to move a little bit faster, that's all in my head. I think that might be in my head though. Yeah, look, they're going after the units. It's going to be exactly the same time, so there, I would say there's no difference. I guess, yeah, 36, 35. It's actually took a little bit longer. So I'm calling that 32, 332 with Jenny in the platoon. So that took, you know, there's no way to gauge this because we've got no numbers to fucking run off. Uh, I don't know. Right, let's go into a quick base. Let's go into there. I want to see how quick the... If there's any change on the Akumas, where are we? Yes, they're quick, quick on their own now with that tech. I don't know. I really don't know, guys. I, I can't give you a definitive answer because it just... The, if there is a buff, it's very, very minute. It's like 1% and one more range. Maybe a little bit more than that, but... Uh, yeah, they've got no answers for you, mate. Let's have a look at the repair time on Jenny. Did I kill her? I don't think she was quite dead, was she? 19 minutes, so give it another two, three minutes. She's about a 22 minute repair from dead. And I, I've still got no, I've got more questions than answers with the Akumas and the Outrunners being buffed. Just way too many questions. I would like to know Kickstarter to come out with maybe the numbers, the stats of how much she buffs and buy and what, you know and range and everything else. But other than that, guys, I can't answer your question. The uh, Jenny does kill a, a, a medals free. So that's 200K medals for, for about 20 minute repair. Other than that, fuck knows, guys, I ain't got a clue. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. I thought I'd have answers after this video, but I haven't. Anyway, guys, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.